Why should you listen to me when it comes down to this recipe? Because I'm not a very good cook. And if I don't mess it up, then you definitely will be able to do it, all right? So here's the thing. Normally when I'm cooking fish, I have to go cook it on the grill because I end up stinking up the house because I just mess it up. The reality is cod is such a perfect fish when it comes down to a low carb diet. He's such a good quality fish, but a lot of people stay away from it because they just, I don't know, they don't realize the health benefits, but they also don't realize how easy it is to cook it. So what I have here is a Mediterranean spin on a cod dish. Now everything that we're gonna talk about is going to be related to the specific kinds of fats that I'm using. I'm gonna be cooking with ghee, okay? Ghee is very high in butyrate. And what that means is it is a signaling device, which we'll talk more about. It has a lot of different health properties that people don't really know about, okay? We're gonna utilize specific seasonings and then we're gonna utilize other fats with the side dish to make this super fun. So it will be completely done. So this whole recipe is gonna take maybe seven minutes or so. So cool thing about cod, the cod that I'm using is Alaskan leader brand cod. Now, if you go into a Costco, it's going to be unbranded at Costco, but it's still going to be Alaskan Leader brand. So Alaskan Leader is totally hook and line caught, which means that it's caught just like it sounds, hook and line. Okay, USA boats with USA fishermen, and it is MSC sustainable, which means it's caught in a sustainable fashion. The best part in terms of a health perspective, in my opinion, is the fact that this cod is flash frozen. So that means as soon as they catch it from the boat, as soon as they bring it on the boat, it's frozen. Okay, so you're maintaining the mineral integrity, you're maintaining uh, proteins not getting denatured. So you have a really good quality cod. So highly recommend you look for natural leader whenever you go into a typical retail store, or if you go to Costco and you get the unbranded big fillets, you're usually looking at Alaskan leader. So let's go ahead, let's have some fun with this. All right, so what I have here is about a pound and a half or so of cod, give or take. Okay, then I have right here about a quarter, a little less than a quarter cup of minced garlic. I'll explain the benefit there, but you want to cut it up, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and that's going to allow what is called the allicin, which is a component of garlic, to actually become activated so you get the antioxidant properties of it. Okay, I have again a little over a quarter cup or so of fresh parsley, and I like parsley because it's got a diuretic effect, so it really just helps you feel good. You help expel a little bit of the extra water that sometimes you're holding. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Anyhow, let's just walk through what I'm going to do here. I've already sprayed the pan a little bit with some ghee spray, but what I have here is a few tablespoons of ghee melted down. Now, why am I using ghee? Okay, ghee is interesting because ghee is not like butter. Ghee is uh, what's called clarified, okay? Ghee is just the milk fat. I wanna cook with the milk fat. I don't want the milk solids from the butter, okay? Lots of different benefits when it comes down to butyrate, which I can talk about in a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's turn this guy on. I'm just gonna turn it on to like a medium, medium or so. I'm gonna let that get going and let that warm up. And then I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna take my cod, put it into a bowl. I'm gonna take another portion of this ghee here just so that I have something to be able to kind of mix with. Not a whole lot, just enough to kind of wet it up a little bit. And I'm gonna add my garlic. I'm gonna add my parsley. Okay. And then I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon or just eyeball salt. Now the whole idea here is this is super simple, right? You don't have to do much. Like I'm not a good cook. Okay, so I'm adding probably a little more than a half a teaspoon. This is fairly coarse salt. So you can add a little bit more. Paprika, I'm just gonna do a dash of paprika here. And then what's interesting is the ghee that I'm using in this particular case has a little bit of turmeric with it. Okay, it gives it a little bit more of a well-rounded flavor. You can totally use regular ghee and then just add a little bit of turmeric to it. I love the little flavor that it gives it if it has some turmeric. It just gives a little extra bite and doesn't taste quite so, I don't know, quite so fatty. So when you're looking at a low carb dish, it's just, I don't know, you want some more volume to it. Um, and now I've got some black pepper. Now black pepper not only is going to help the uh, turmeric activate a little bit more, but of course, it's gonna add the flavor. Okay, so super simple. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up. I'm gonna take my tongs here. Might need a little more ghee on here just to mix it up a little bit more. Let's do that. Make sure the ghee's not too hot when you're mixing it in with the cod here because you don't wanna start the cooking process. Okay, you just wanna get the ghee going here. That's gonna be what's gonna cook the cod. This is just to help mix it and saturate it with a little bit of flavor. Yeah, this is so simple. And I'm actually taking my dear sweet time because I'm talking about health benefits and stuff. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna actually turn the heat down. I want this down to like a medium low. 
And once, again, because I have the attention span of a gnat, uh, unless I'm fasting, then I have a really good attention span, but I already ate something today, so. Already smells good. Okay, so I'm not gonna cover it yet, but I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna let that go for two minutes, okay? And while that is sizzling up a little bit, let me explain why we're going with cod here. Okay, so cod is exceptionally high in what is called choline. Choline is a precursor to what is called acetylcholine within the body. This is gonna help out neurotransmitter function. So if you are doing keto or you're doing low carb, it's going to help the brain get those signals a little bit more. But another mineral that's not really talked about is something called molybdenum. Okay, molybdenum helps the byproducts with the mitochondrial uh, energy process basically get cleaned up. So when we go through mitochondrial biogenesis, when we're creating energy via mitochondria, what that simply means is when we're doing keto, our mitochondria is working overdrive. We wanna make sure we're helping support that. Molybdenum is really, really good for that, and cod is very, very high in that. But again, when we're looking at doing a low carb or keto diet, we wanna support the liver's natural detoxification process, which is called glutathione production. And selenium is a mineral that there is a lot of in cod. Okay, so in that case, we're getting our good amounts of selenium, but we're also getting a vitamin known as B5, pantothenic acid, which is needed to create adrenaline and cortisol. It supports your adrenal glands. You may think you don't want your cortisol levels to go up, and you don't generally. You may think you don't want your adrenaline levels to go up, and you don't generally. But when it comes down to fat loss, you want the adrenaline levels to upregulate a little bit, okay? Because what that means is it's going to activate hormone-sensitive lipase. It's going to activate the fat-burning processes within the body. So super cool stuff. And we're at a minute 40 here, so I got 20 more seconds to let this sizzle, and I hopefully I haven't messed it up, <laughs> and I don't think I have. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some more of this little garlic stuff that's kind of sitting here. You're going to love what I do with this whole thing, and you're going to love the little side dish that I have too. Okay. Flip those guys over. Now, I'm, my pan is not the best here, so I probably messed up the fish a little bit just because I'm not using the best pan. But again, considering normally by now, I am kicked out of the house because it stinks, I'm not gonna be too upset about this. This is actually going pretty, pretty smooth for me. Okay, now I'm gonna reduce the heat to low, okay? And I'm gonna add the rest of my butter, or in this case, ghee, I'm gonna cover it, reduce the heat all the way, cover it, let that cook for just, see, let's go for another three to four minutes. Quick reasoning why I'm using ghee again. Okay, we have this thing called butyrate. Okay, it's a short chain fatty acid, and a lot of times when we eat a bunch of veggies, and things like that, they get broken down into a short chain fatty acid called butyric acid or butyrate. Turns out that ghee is already high in butyrate. Now, what does this butyrate do? It feeds the cells within your gut lining. That means it helps support your gut, but also can convert into ketones somewhat easier. In fact, there was a 1962 paper that showed that butyrate actually directly stimulated ketone production. So if you think of what a ketone is, beta-hydroxybutyrate, and you think of butyrate, we're only a hydroxy group off. Okay, that's scientific jargon, but what that means is butyrate is so close molecularly to a ketone it helps us produce ketone bodies, and it can even sort of transmit that same signal within the body. Point is, by cooking the cod in the ghee, we're not only getting the benefits of the cod, but we're getting the benefits of the fat helping ketone formation. But there's more to it that I'm gonna talk about when I season everything up. Okay, so now we have to look at our side dish. While this is cooking up, I'm gonna utilize just some regular broccoli that I've already steamed. Okay, just good old-fashioned organic broccoli, nothing fancy, okay? Here's a fun little trick. Take nutritional yeast, load it up, okay? Add a little bit of salt. You can season it however you'd really like. And then what I do is I have ghee oil spray and I have avocado oil spray, okay? So what I'll do here is actually spray some avocado oil on it. This has got some velocity, so sometimes it'll actually spray the yeast all over the place. And this is super simple. And I mix this up, and the nutritional yeast, very high in vitamin B12. And when you're doing a low carb or keto diet, it's so easy to become deficient in your B vitamins because they're so water soluble. 
they just come out when you go to the bathroom really easily, that you urinate them out. So you lose a lot of fluids that way, which means you're losing your B vitamins, which is so important to energy formation in the body and so important to natural detoxification processes. So we get that benefit. And then I want the avocado oil because it's high in oleic acid, okay? Which I don't wanna get super, super in depth with the science here, but essentially it's helping what are called uncoupling proteins and it helps your body generate more body heat, okay? Therefore, you're gonna burn more calories from your body just creating heat, which is a great thing, okay? Super simple, so I've got, but the best thing out of all of this is the cheesy taste that you get with it, okay? I'm gonna add a little ghee spray too, just to round out the flavor. This is almost done. In fact, I'm gonna say, give it 30 more seconds. And last but not least, I've got a little plate that I set aside here. And this is a keto bun. Okay. You can use any, any brand of keto bun. You can make them at home. Um, I'm using an Unbun Foods brand, which is pretty cool. Okay. Just put a little bit of this broccoli here. All right. And wow, it, that smells delicious. It doesn't smell like, like fish. I mean, it smells like fish, but it doesn't smell that nasty fishy smell that you, you make when you totally cook fish wrong. Like, this came out perfect. And I know I am not a gourmet chef, okay? I'm not like the best chef in the world, but the point is, is I was able to do this and not mess it up. So now I'm gonna take just one of my, I right, take two fillets here. Oh man, that's good. Okay, but I'm not done yet, okay? There's one other thing that I wanna do here. So we have cod, which of course, Alaskan leader brand cod, awesome, awesome, awesome quality stuff with some really good fats on it. We have broccoli with some avocado oil on it, which is really, really powerful stuff. But this wouldn't be a Mediterranean dish if I didn't have a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so many studies coming out showing that whether it's Mediterranean keto or Mediterranean in general, the monounsaturated fats have a powerful ability to help your body just rev up so many different cellular processes. Okay, there's one study in particular that showed that when you start adding uh, olive oil into the diet, more of your fats coming from olive oil or monounsaturated fats, you have a reduction in visceral body fat or visceral fat, which is the fat that surrounds the organs. But you don't wanna cook with olive oil usually because it's fragile. So everything I did here, You'd wanna use coconut oil, you'd wanna use ghee, maybe butter, but it might burn more. But you wanna add olive oil afterwards. And this is a keto dish, so I wanna make it a little bit higher fat. But olive oil is a great fat, you just don't wanna have it uh, in the dish when you're cooking. You add it after the fact, that way you're getting all the benefits and it's not fragile. And last but not least here, you can squirt a little bit of this lemon on there. Got a seed in there too. I have to say, Alaskan Leader has nailed the cod on this one. This is really good stuff. I'm gonna put it right out in front so you can get a good shot of it and you can take a look before I dive into it. And I'm gonna go grab a fork. I'll let you just drool over that for a second. Nice thing is, I don't even need a knife. Like this stuff, look at this. JR, get a close up of this real quick just so you can see how flaky this is. It's not rubbery. It came out perfect, exactly the way it's supposed to. For the second time in my life, I haven't messed up fish. <laughs> Like this came out so good. My wife who doesn't eat fish would even be proud of me. Mm. It is so buttery. That's exactly what you're going for. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon just cause I like that bite. So I'm gonna add some more lemon. Just dodge the seeds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The cool thing about cod in the first place is it's not a really fishy fish. So sometimes if you cook salmon, it's fishy, or if you undercook salmon, it's really fishy. And a lot of times, like even halibut can be super fishy. Cod is not all that fishy. And if you don't overcook it, it's not rubbery. It's super soft, it's super flaky, and it has a buttery taste, even though the fat content is pretty low. What's cool, and I'll kind of end on this note, is that with a lower fat fish like this, it gives you the flexibility to add other fats in. I'm not opposed to other fish. Salmon's great, stuff like that's great. But the problem is you're at the mercy of the fatty acid profile of the meat that you're consuming. If you go with a leaner fish like this, you're getting all the benefit. You don't have the, the mercury issues and things like that that you might otherwise get. But then it gives me the flexibility to add the fats in as I want to. I wanted to add ghee, so I added ghee. 
I wanted to add olive oil, so I added olive oil. I wanted avocado oil, so I can put that in the mix. And I'm just left with this perfect, delicious, keto-friendly dish. Let me try this with some broccoli, too. And the broccoli is a cheesy consistency. Even that, even like the butter sauce, you can just use every single piece of this. If you want to see more recipe videos and see me messing food up, I didn't mess this one up, but usually I do, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know you want to see quick, easy recipe dishes that'll change your low carb lifestyle. Big thank you to Alaskan Leader for helping support this video. Make sure you go to Costco, pick some of their fillets up, and check out Alaskan Leader at your local store. I'm gonna devour this. See you tomorrow.